On the table today, it is all about Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze, an elite trainer box. Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and we have a lot of cards to open up today. Hey, why is Pikachu so upset? We won't let him stand on the cool side of the table. Well, that's not very nice. Pikachu is like honored royalty here. You've got to be nicer to... Pikachu, more like Squeak-a-Stinkachu. <laughs> that's not cool. Pikachu's going to get you. I dare you to come over here, Squeak-a-Stinkachu. <laughs> well, that's just mean. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, 927,000 squirrel ivers. Okay, it's finally here on the table. The Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Box with that bony, spiky, dragon-like Eternatus on the front vibrantly standing out. Always so many things to explore in the Elite Trainer Boxes. A brilliant flame on the darkest day. The velvet night glows, burns, and blazes astoundingly bright. As the legendary Pokemon Eternatus arrives as a Pokemon V alongside Centiscorch V, Mew V, Galarian Slowbro V, and many others. So yes, lots of things to expand upon. Lots and lots of things. And of course, all the fine print warnings. Alright, let's open up this box, see what we can find. It's the Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness of Place Player's Guide. These things always so fancified in glossy paper. Thick cardstock. Where to start? There we go. Welcome to Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. This elite trainer box contains a great combination of boosters, energy cards, dice, card sleeves, and extra congrats on stepping up your game to the elite level. Oh, I so shall have been. And some of the new Pokemon V and VMAX cards in here. I think the Charizard V and the Charizard VMAX cards may be the ones to look for. Oh, so many beautiful V and VMAX cards. Ooh, a Mew V card. Oh my goodness. Wonder what we will find today. What kind of V card will we find? Will we even find one? I hope so. So yes, the guide of things to find in Darkness Ablaze. And opening up the box. Ah, oh, the smell of new. And there they are. Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze Packs. Oh goodness me. What could we possibly find? Oh, the sizzly bead. Love that one. Eight packs to go through today. There's Eternatus card sleeves. Very nice. I love how bright the red and the blue is. These are probably my favorite card sleeves yet. A Pokemon trading card game rule book. Something I should spend a lot more time with. Anything else in here? Oh, a lot more. Our pack code card, woo! Anybody catch that? These must be our energy cards. A quite deal great many of. Six darkness ablaze damage counter dice, all in blue. Very contrasty. Two acrylic condition markers. Dividers to keep your cards organized in box with Eternatus on everything. So plenty of things to keep you busy in this pack. It's all about the cards we pull today though. Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. Charizard VMAX on the front looking sharp. I have weak fingers. Where's the scissors? Where's the scissors? One would think with all the Lego building we do, I'd have really strong fingers, but no. So I use the scissors and, you know, risk causing a card getting cut in half. Oh, I already did it wrong. One, two, three, four. Flip around. Here we go. And I think I've already teased that this is a good pack. An energy card. Pierce. Powerful energy. That one's new. I haven't seen that. Toxapex. Whoa, that's an interesting Pokemon. Clink. I think I used Clink and Sword and Shield just a little bit. A Skitty. Pansedge. Goulet. Or is it Goulet? Vanilla Light. Very cute. <gasps> and a Reverse Swana to start off with something interesting. And 
A hollow pincher chin. Okay, that's a good start for today. Hollow pincher chin. Pretty cool hollow for pincher chin. I like it. Shiny and pinchy. I'd say a successful start for the day. Now let's check on an Eternatus cover pack. Easy, easy. Okay, I think I did it right this time. One, two, three, four. And here we go. Fighting energy. A Simusage. Simusage. Simapore. Corvus Squire, we just used a Corvus Squire the other day. I saw the kids playing. Snubble. Taros, oh that's a really cool looking version of Taros. I like that drawing, it's kind of very swooshy. Rookity. Mr. Mime Galarian, chili. Electrike, Electrike, very nice. Like the drawing too of that, very sharp and electric. We've got a reverse Vibraria, Vibrava. Vibrava, did I say that right? Reverse, nice, and I think we've got something cool back here. Charizard V-Card, very nice. Very reflective, very burny. That's who we want to see today, right? Of course, we'd like to see the V-Max too. A second pack of success. I'm still kind of new to these trainer boxes this year, starting Sword and Shield with a full line going. Anyone in the comments would like to tell me, do you have better odds at getting better cards in these trainer boxes? Or is it still just kind of what you get? Next up is the Grim Snarl VMAX decorated pack. Grim Snarl looking so snarlful. Easy, easy. And fire energy to start us off. Another vanillish. Kalang. Gathorita. Boon Sweet. I like the photorealistic backdrop around Boon Sweet there. Dunsparce. Electrike is back. Mr. Mime is back. A Grimer or a Grimmer. What do you say? Grimer, Grimmer? Probably Grimer is probably better pronounced. Yucky. A Purloin is here. Cute. And what do we have here? A Hydreigon. A Hydreigon. Am I saying that right? There's a lot of new surprise names in Darkness Ablaze this time. Very cool art on that though. Looks to be a pretty good card for the collection. Ah, this is actually a Centiscorch V card art on this pack, not a Sizzlypede. Very close and looking like. So we begin with a Psychic Energy card. You will squirrel alive. You will squirrel alive. Whoops. Simisneer. Doug Trio. Always like Doug Trio stuff. Rare Fossil. Ooh, that's really neat. Nicely done with the cover art on that one. I like just how the fossils in there are different colors. That's kind of fun. A Wishy Washy. A Q Fant. A dino? Oh, really cool. Remember how we recently constructed a dino from Mega Constructs Pokemon? And it was kind of new to me, I never heard of a dino before, and all of a sudden, we have a dino card that is so perfectly timed. The irate dark type Pokemon dino can't really see well, but likes to bite things to find its way. So very cool to see this card with this toy today. What are the odds? Dino. Pansneer. Mareep. Cute. We have a reverse Sentret. I like the relaxation in the grass there. And our final card in this pack would be a Dracozolt. Ooh, that's another very clever carded one, a Dracozolt. Another one I have not used and seen before. I'm liking these a lot so far. And back to the Charizard VMAX cover art pack. We begin with a Steel Energy card. A Soul Rock, very nice. Kabu is here. Simisage. Rowlet, our first Rowlet of the day. Who's a Rowlet fan? Jigglypuff, woohoo, there's a cute one. Classic to the end. Diglett, what is this, the old school pack? Penpour. Spinarak, oh, that's a scary looking dark type. With a little bit of color too. 
and a reverse Shinotic. Am I saying Shinotic right or Shinitic? Now probably Sheen, like a Wii Nintendo Wii Shinotic. Very nice, cleverly designed. Oh, oh my goodness! I didn't think this would be a good pack. It came in a common pack. I thought, or no, maybe it was. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? A Century Scorch V Max. Oh, how pleasantly cool! And to top everything off, it's a Rainbow Rare card. A Rainbow Rare. They're so pleasantly pretty. Have I used pleasantly enough today? I really like collecting a lot of those extra sizzly peeds from the past releases. So a Senta Scourge of VMAX card is perfect for my collection. Wow, that took me by surprise. And indeed, one of the cards in here did reveal that it was a rare pack. I just didn't see it for some reason. Oh, and check this out. Jigglypuff's here in Mega Constructs form. There we are, the Jigglypuff card. Anyone see me build this on TikTok, by the way? I forgot Jigglypuff's little puff. Had it on backwards. What a oops. We'll let Jigglypuff watch too. Moving on to another Eternatus marked pack. I wish I saved the video feed. I thought I had it from the time we fought in Sword. It was a pretty cool battle. I think we did really well. I must have just posted that on Instagram. Oops, probably a common pack here. Okay, we start with Water Energy. An old PC. Oh, I love that. That's pretty funny. An Ursa Ring. Have I ever seen an Ursa Ring before? That is a really cool looking bear Pokemon. Heat Energy. Vanilla Light. Trap Inch. Oh, Trap Inch is here. This is like a Mega Constructs reunion day. And when I Mega Constructed Trap Inch, I had his head rotated around backwards. So I finally got his head forward with the little zigzag mouth up front. Good to see Trap Inch again and in card. And look at the card. I like the little plush art with this one. Tedarusa. Panzer is back. Morlul. That's new for today. <laughs> Rowlet. Oh, a reverse Rowlet. Cool. It's kind of a Rowlet day, too. <laughs> do I have a Mega Constructs in Rowlet? I don't think I do nearby if I do. And finally, a Galarian Darmanitan. That is one of the funnest Pokemon names to say. Darmanitan. Darmanitan in the blizzard it can. Was that a haiku or anything close to one? Fun pack of cards there with a lot to talk about. Oh man, there's only two left. How is this going so fast? Let's go with the Senta Scorch V Max pack art card pack. That might give us some good luck. We'll start off with plant energy, powerful energy, soul rock, steamy. Grimer, Clink, Skitty, Pansage, a Golette. Oh my goodness, a reverse Decidueye. So we are totally getting some really cool Rollette evolved a series today. That's a great one to find. And finishing off with a Delcaddy evolves from Skitty. So a Delcaddy and a Skitty today on this pack. Good combo there. Oh, shut up, Coppa Cat. This leaves this Grim Snarl V card art pack the last one to open. I know, so sad. Although it's a good, good amount of cards for one video, I think. I don't believe this pack is going to finish off too thrilling, but let's find out. There's Energy, Dark, there's Rose, Vanillish. A Poltegeist. Could use some tea. Marini. Oh, I like the scribbled like drawing chalk art with her. Purloin. Starly. Aaron. Cub Chew. A reverse Shelmet. And the last card of today. So sad. It's a Thievel. Oh, that's kind of fun. Thievel ends the day and thieves anything really cool. A card I believe that will be popular in our family because everyone seems to like Nickit, so cool on Thievel. So I would say we did really well today for starting off with Darkness Ablaze. A few really good rare finds in there. A Senta Scorch VMAX rainbow card. That is the highlight of today. Pretty neat. It was nice seeing Rowlet and Decidueye with reverse colors. And of course a Charizard V card is cool to see too. One of the classics in V card. Awesome. So awesome. Now I just have to decide if I want to pick up a booster pack or not. 
I know we'll start to see many repeats in the common cards, but I'd sure like another chance at something rare, like an Eternitas VMAX card, right? Gotta catch them all! So that is the Darkness of Blaze Elite Trainer Box. I think we did pretty well. That was fun. I might just have to get a booster box next. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamant so we can talk all about these amazing Pokemon cards we found today. Thank you for watching. That's what I have to say about that.